the um, place where she was born had mm -hmm. some small children and she's got an affinity for them okay but it's not always appreciated by parents yes when she runs up and she's a big dog and just wants to play yeah but when a parent sees a dog like her running towards their small child they can get a bit defensive yeah yeah so, understandably so. now nah, fair yeah, enough we nah. want we want to get her air collar con um, condition but obviously we don't want to do it wrong yes it is a tool and it can be used really well or really badly yeah so that was why we were like yes great there's yeah a, there's a trainer who actually trains them If you can kind of give me, a, as a nutshell, um, a bit of an I idea on a bit of an idea on exactly kind of what you're seeing um, and what what behaviours you're seeing from the dog. Um, one of the main reasons we wanted wanted to bring her is her recall when we go to off leash places. Yep. Um, distractions around is shocking. Yes. She's another dog or anything. She would just be off and wanting to run off and play. Okay. Um, her excitement at seeing other dogs and also small children. Yep. The um, place where she was born had mm -hmm. some small children and she's got an affinity for them. Okay. But it's not always appreciated by parents. Yes. When she runs up and she's a big dog and just wants to play. Yep. But when a parent sees a dog like her running towards their small child, they can get a bit defensive. Yep. Yeah. So. Understandably. Nah, fair enough. Nah, cool. Yeah, so, so it sounds to me like a lot of the, the issues or, or, or things you kind of want help with is around mainly distractions yeah. and, and being able to refocus the dog when, when she becomes distracted. Is that, would you say that's quite accurate? Yeah. yeah, I'd say yeah. That's quite accurate. Okay, and, 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 and a few of those distractions are we've got kind of small, like young kids, um, probably overexcited dogs, I'm guessing. Yeah, no, she's definitely other dog obsessed. We had a couple of dogs in the property next to ours yes. for a, a while, I think about two weeks, and the entire time when she was out, um, in our yard, she would run up and down the fence line. Oh, so, okay. And in this weather, she's created a mud track and oh, then would yeah. get covered in mud up to her belly. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Completely. Because yeah. she just wouldn't stop running up and down. Yeah, she's de-escalating now. She's kind of like, becomes interested in something then calms down, which is good. She knows how to calm down, which is a good sign. Um, it makes it, it's hard when they don't want to calm down then they stay kind of high. And obviously Ember's probably gone through about the e-collar and stuff as well. Yeah. Yeah. And you have a bit of an understanding about how that works. Yeah. 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 Okay. But that's one of the things that made us want to come <laughs> here is it's one of the few places we could find and we use the mini educator yep. as well. And looking around, that's the one that we go towards. Yeah. And yeah. to get her e collar condition, I think is. Yeah. Because we want, we want to get her e collar con um, condition, but obviously we don't want to do it wrong. Yes. Because it is a tool and it can be used really well or really badly. Yep. Yeah. So that was why we were like, yes, great. There's, yeah. a, there's a trainer who actually trains on us. Yeah, yeah, and, and you've hit the nail on the head, the keys of the conditioning, you know, the, the, the correct conditioning and the understanding of what the, the collar means to the dog, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, so that, that's, yeah, you've hit the nail on the head there. Cool, yeah. And, and are you getting behaviors like overexcitement at the front door and things like that when people come? Yeah, because yeah. we don't have a lot of people come to visit us. We yeah. normally visit other people. Yeah. My mum visited last week for the first time in I don't know how long, and she just, the noise is coming out of her. She's okay. so excited. And sprinting in circles. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just to kind of give you a deeper understanding there of exactly what's going on there is, is if you think about like a, um, if a dog greets somebody in the home or in a, any environment and, and they become excited like that, it's common that they will transfer that behavior to other 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 situations so they start to generalize it let's say i have a dog and someone's come over and they've when they're young everyone's cute and cuddly and we go hey buddy and we you know it's natural for people to want to do that because the dog's so cute yeah. okay and then when the dog kind of hits its adolescent period at about 10 months that kind of cute cuddly turns into jumping overexcited when the instincts start to kick in yeah. okay and then that turns into the dog thinking that things in the environment are exciting so what happens is, is things become more exciting than us yeah. And that's where the running away kind of kicks in and it kind of snowballs from that point. Um, when you've got like a husky like this that, um, as you probably have found out, they're quite strong-willed, um, very loyal dogs, um, but they have a high wanderlust, okay? So they're common to wander quite far. Yeah. Um, so, so you've kind of got like a few little uh, elements there that have caused, I guess, what you're starting to see. And getting onto it now is the perfect kind of time. It's, it's not nowhere near too late. It's, it's going to be a smooth road.